your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. Child, this will be Vlogmas 12. Vlogmas 12. 12. <laughs> Look, the views are going lower and lower on these vlogs. I made the commitment to do Vlogmas 25 days. I believe it's 25 days. But I may have to take a break after this because I think what y'all saying is the masses are saying y'all tired of my tail. <laughs> but baby, it went down. I'm about to leave the school. It is, you know, I like to tell y'all the time. You don't need, what time is it? 5.40 p.m. Oh, that was cute. That's my first time using it. Siri, what time is it? I guess she only does it once. 5.40 p.m. I'm still at the school. But baby, it went down at school today. I know I'm looking a mess. Anyway, I'm going to have to go to my closet to give you all this, honey. I'm going to have to go to the closet. So let me get home, find out what these kids are doing. And I'll meet y'all in the closet, okay? But before I do that, give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All five of you, okay? <laughs> That's okay. I made the commitment so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I made the commitment to Christmas and that's what I'm going to do because I'm doing what I say. I say what I do. It is what it is and this is what I'm going to do because that's what I said I'm going to do so that's what it is. Okay. Here's my OOTD. Nothing special but this is my OOTD just because y'all wanted to see. I don't know if I wore this blazer this week. I really have no idea. So this is what we have. My OOTD. And I think it's, it may be dark. I don't know. I, I don't have as many lights in this room. But another blazer. I got my little camo pants on. They're wide leg. So what I've done is I've rolled them up at the bottom. It's like a roll and a tuck. Something. Something. And my little camo pants. And my blazer. And my little sneaker heels. And just a black sweater. It's my little everything sweater. And this is it. I will throw on the blazer so quick, child. <laughs> okay, guys. I am getting out of here. I look around. See if I left anything. I didn't get a chance to work on my little chair today. Oh, child. The day I've had. I need the closet. And see, you know, the thing that kills me is that people are so quick to say, oh, I wish, you know, I had summers off. Well, I wish I had this Thanksgiving break off and stuff like that. But they don't realize, teachers, we go through a lot of abuse. It's mental abuse. Some teachers have physical abuse. The mental stress and the strain. Oh my gosh. And then on top of that, and if you have some parents, well, I, I think I've been blessed with the parents this year. Um, it's my really first year dealing with parents. One of my other jobs, the teacher was kind of the parent. So I, don't, I haven't done with that. But one teacher, whoo, she got the business with the parents, child, baby. They will on her. Well, I feel, Ooh, that's that, see, that's that good light right there, sis. That's that good light. <laughs> but, no, seriously. I got, I don't have too many problems with parents. They, I built like partnerships with them, so it's been kind of good. It's been really good. But the day I had, who's this? Ooh, I'll be dog out here. I need to carry out with me every time I leave late, and this is kind of early for me. I can't get home quick enough. But I'm looking forward to, I'm actually looking forward to the drive home because I listen to my audio book. Bye! I don't know who that is. I can tell it's me all the way over here. I know the hair is big, I know. I know. Anyway, made it to my car. She's still here. Hey! Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> yes! A sis may have to go out for a hot minute this weekend to decompress, honey. Whew. 
Woo! Woo! I want to just erase the whole day. Can I erase the day? Child, let me pull off and make it to the closet. No, because then I'm going to have to listen to like 59,000 stories when I get home. Then I'll tiptoe to the closet and maybe lock my door this time because just closing the closet door is not good enough. You don't know what you just started. All right, guys, I just made it home. This is what the front. We still got pumpkins out here, child, but I, I think I'm, I'm going to try a little project with the pumpkins before I throw the pumpkins away. Happy holidays. Lord, let's find out what's waiting for me up in here. We got to make it to the closet. Hi, and welcome to my crib. This is my 73 questions with Vogue. Come in. So, how was your day, Bobby? It was great, thanks. So, what did you do today? How was your last game, Bobby? Well, you know, we took, we took the little dub. We took the What's a dub, dub, Bobby? I have no a idea. Dub? That's a win. That's a win, y'all. Why does it call a dub? A dub. Like double, oh. double U, but like a dub. All right, guys, did y'all know that? A dub. Oh, so was it an intense game? Would yes, I have been able went, to take it, Bobby? No, mom would have been out the door. <laughs> we went into overtime, we were tied, then we weren't tied, and then yeah. Come, come this way, come, come this way. The kitchen is a mess. Yes, Bobby. Okay, so what's going on in the kitchen, Bobby? Why do you want so, me to come in here? That's so nice that you asked. I'm gonna hand it over to my co-host. But you had to walk me to the kitchen. <laughs> he was supposed to follow, but he didn't get the memo. Oh, Clint was supposed to follow you. He didn't get the memo. Uh, hey, Clinton. Yeah, I made this pork What'd you do chop. all day? What'd you do? What'd you make? Cause it smells like food up in here. Pork chops. And then the seasoning, I put it like you know the bags that you know the bags that they were in. Like I seasoned them while they were in the bag, and then I okay like seasoned it or whatever. Let it marinate for like five minutes. I did it, and then I poured oil and extra virgin olive oil in there. And then mix it together, and then I just, I just took a so spoon. So you use my good olive oil. Yeah, and then you take the spoon and you just go like that. You pour it on top. Yeah. <laughs> go look. Go try it. Oh yeah, you heard. My good oil. You know olive oil is expensive. Let me make it to my closet. But anyway, let's see what he made. These pork chops do look good, Clint. They do look good, y'all. Ain't got nothing to go with them, though? That's all right. I don't need the carbs. Because let me tell you, I ain't good at work today. Ooh, look at that pork chop, y'all. It's dripping with juice. I don't know what y'all can see. Okay. Mmm. That juicy. Mmm. It's not dry. The flavor is good. What you season it with, Claire? Uh, Adobe, garlic powder, uh, pepper, paprika. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I think it's cayenne pepper. I don't know. One of the, I think it's paprika. And no sazon. Uh, no. Uh, uh, we're, the, I, the first mm. one, the first ones that I made, it, not like before that batch, yeah, I used it, but I forgot to use it. We didn't have enough. There was only half a packet, so I just didn't mm. Mm. It's good, y'all. Mm. And they're juicy. Okay. Look at you, Claire. Mm, good. It's the pork shop mug bar, honey. Keeping it real simple. No carbs. I'm gonna wake up and my stomach gonna be on flat, flat. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah, it's very juicy. Sis. No cap, no cap. I think that was possibly the best pork chop I've ever had. Better than mine. I know it is. Did he just say I know it is? Excuse me. <laughs> Go 
have some nerve. I don't want to be in my feelings. How good. That's good, y'all. Trying to cut down on carbs. I'm waiting for the new year for that. Girl, you got me a new year. New me. I'm cutting people off. I'm going on. I'm doing my thing. I'm going to be doing this. I'm joining the gym. I'm doing this. I'm not putting up with no mess. It's just going to be me. And my family, and I'm going to be doing things, going places. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a new me, new year. I'm taking it to a new level. No cap. I'm sorry, y'all, but that was good. And I ain't making Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, for real, for real, she on the party. Child, I done made it back to my closet. Maybe, is that a little too dark for y'all? Let me see. Huh? Yes? Oh my gosh. Yes? I need help. What do you need help with, Bobby? I can't figure out how to get these stairs out of this. I'll be right back. Look, y'all, sorry about that. I try. <laughs> I can't even hide in the closet. Good night, blue cheese. Anyway, I'm not looking too crazy for y'all. I'm going to start with the good stuff. So I got an email for Bobby, just like another thing that I have posted on my community tab, Student Achieving Excellence, so SAE, Student Achieving Excellence, another one for Bobby from another teacher, always prepared, kind, respectful, positive attitude, ready to work, follow classroom procedures, completes all homework, completes all assignment, helpful in class, um, participation in class. Comments, Bobby is a joy to teach in English three honors. I can always trust that she will turn in quality work to the best of her ability and I appreciate that she is such a hard worker. I also appreciate that she is always respectful to the teacher as well. Looking forward to second semester, Bobby. Aw. And then I, you know, emailed the teacher back um, and said, thank you so, so much. She is the same at home too. I feel so blessed to be her mom. I said, when a teacher upsets her, I always want to jump in because I see how hard she works. I wish I could give her the world single mom struggles. Bless your heart for acknowledging my sweet Bobby. <laughs> so that's not the good part. I mean, that is the good part, but that's not the good, good, the good, good part. And then she said, the teacher replied, I didn't reply back after this. She said, she really is such a great kid. Just FYI, I always make my students say what they're thankful for on the Friday before Thanksgiving. And I tell my kids, it has to be someone who's really been there for them this year. Between you and I, Bobby's response with that, she's grateful for her mom. Thank you for your kind words. Ooh, I don't know why that brings me to tears. And I'm about to say something. <laughs> Don't come for me. I have thoughts. Just let me have them. Okay? <laughs> look, look, I'm digging my dirty clothes basket, y'all. <laughs> that just brought me to tears. And it has been a tough year, you know, because there were some losses as well. Um, you know, there were losses. I'm not going to be talking about that. And, um... But sometimes, and I know none of my kids ever think, I don't know what they think, okay? Just let me have my moment. Don't come for me. Just just let me have it, okay? And then we're going to move on to the other, other T, okay? But sometimes I feel bad that they didn't have a different mom. You know, someone who has it going on, someone who's financially blah, blah, blah. Not saying that financials always, you know, the be all and end, end all but someone 
someone else, I wonder sometimes. But I feel lucky. I feel lucky to be her mother. I really do. Because she's just, she's just great. Sydney is great too. Sydney, she be getting her mood. She going through that teenage moody stuff. Bobby doesn't get moody. We all know about Clinton. We all know about Clinton. He's 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 a good kid though. He's doing his teenage stuff. And um, but overall, he he, he he's being a teenager. He, hopefully, he'll figure it out. But Bobby, you just like the three little bears. You love them all, but you got one that's just perfect. One that's perfect, and another one that's perfect. You got perfect. Perfect and then perfect, perfect, you know. And um, she, she, she's, I don't know, she's, she's, they're all special in their own way. But sometimes I wonder if they would have been better off with someone different. <sighs> with a different mom, you know. If y'all knew half the stuff that we're going through, trust me. Anyway, I didn't even come on here for this. But that's just something that, that goes through my head sometimes. It's not going to happen. They stuck with me. They stuck with me or whatever. But sometimes I just wonder, you know, if I was a better person or if I had different parents. Would I be a different person? Because, you know, I wasn't close with anyone in my family. And then sometimes I push people away. I push people away. And after, I'm going to say maybe over 20 plus years, maybe, I just reconnected with, you know, one of my cousins. And she's been a godsend. But I'm a, I'm a push, push a person, push you away type person, you know. I mean, hey, who, who's the, the one who ate with the homeless for five years? The homeless became my family. Anyway, um, that's all I wanted to say about that part. That was the good stuff, okay? <laughs> I ain't even come on here for that. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you, we should be proud of our Bobby. Proud of Clinton for his cooking skills. He he does show some talents. I ain't talking about Clinton, no. It's not about Clinton. Y'all see a cute little face and a pretty smile. Y'all see my face. That's what you see. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. Maybe Clinton would be different if he had a different mom, too. You know? So, anyway... Okay. Um, but I would say today has been filled with. So we got that. I didn't have anything to bring for lunch. Look, got my little cup. Y'all got me. I didn't have anything to bring for lunch. <coughs> I think. <coughs> I think I brought a cheese sandwich. Wasn't looking forward to that, but I was like, whatever. I'm going to eat this cheese sandwich and it's going to be like the gourmet, the gourmet cheese sandwich, honey. Because whatever your mind says it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. <laughs> I was going to put a little salt and pepper on that cheese sandwich. No mayonnaise, though. It was provolone cheese and I had a nice little bun bun, a little bun bun. <laughs> but, hunty, they had the teacher's lounge locked down. I couldn't even get my ice this morning and, you know, I had issues with that. I was shaking. I thought I was like, what's the matter? What's I went to the office. I was like, look, I don't know what's going on in that teacher's lounge, but I need some ice. <laughs> I got to make sure we still going, but I need some ice. <laughs> they was like, nope. But honey, the principal um, had lunch catered for all the teachers for the holiday. I mean, he did something nice for Thanksgiving. So this was, um, I guess, the Christmas holiday lunch for the teachers. And hunty, let me tell you, sis. A girl couldn't be happier. I got lunch last night at that teacher's retirement system and investment program. That food was good. And then I got a little box and Bobby finished that off. It was good. It was, oh my God, it was good. From Papacitos. That's a popular restaurant here in Texas. They're everywhere. 
And so, and then the lunch today at school, of course, I still only had the 30 minutes, so I had to wolf it down. So what I did do, since it was in the teacher's lounge, I did eat in the teacher's lounge, and I usually don't do that. So I sat down and ate in the teacher's lounge. It was penne pasta with chicken, and it was lasagna. And then they had the sauce on the side for the lasagna. If you if it was a little too dry, they had salad. I got a huge mountain of salad. Sometimes my body just craves vegetables and salads, but we don't always have that here. And it's like when I buy that stuff, it goes bad anyway because no, anyway, boop, boop, boop. We're on the great things that happened today, okay? We're on the great things that happened before I get to the tea. Oh, oh God, 12 minutes? No, because Bobby took up some of that time. Oh God, y'all know I'm trying to get these things a little shorter. Anyway, <laughs> so I had the salad and the bread and the soda and they had little dessert, little thingies. It was just wonderful. It was wonderful. And tomorrow there's supposed to be lunch, I think in the cafeteria. I don't know who's providing that, but at least I don't have to pack any lunch. I'm really excited about that. So I have my little ticket. Every teacher got a little ticket. You have to have your name on it, and you go pick up your little lunch. I'm going to be running down to that cafeteria. I might be the first one out of the class. I may leave the kids in the class while they're walking out of the dough to go get my lunch. <laughs> so I can take full advantage of my 30 minutes. Shoo, it's going to take me about four to five just to get down there. And God forbid if I have to go to the bathroom. So I'll make sure I go to the bathroom before that class gets there. Anyway, see, there's a science to all this fast eating. So it was that. So that was great. That was great. I had to write little notes because I wasn't leaving anything out. Okay. That was on my tea. It was It was good. It was a good, that was wonderful. I'm having a great day. The kids are still testing. I shake everybody's hand when they come into my classroom. So I stand by that door and I shake everybody's hand, right? So I shake the hands. Some of the kids, we got footwork and we got blah, blah, blah. We have different things and I'm, you know, so by the end of the year, it's going to be boop, boop, boop with everybody. So I'm like, hey, you it's extra credit. You got to create the handshake. And so, um... There's this one boy, he didn't look the same. He's he's the little boy I told you about. He was like, Miss Basil, you're the only teacher who likes me. <laughs> and his and he's usually happy when he comes to my class. And I just said, I said, no, 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 you wait there. Wait right there. So I shook everybody else's hand. You know, quiet. What are we supposed to do when you come in the classroom? Uh, do we need to march back out and try it again? Is that what we need to do? No, ma'am. All right. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I guess I wasn't as strict in the beginning. But now they want to walk in my classroom and be on 10. I don't think so. So now, as soon as they go in, I stop them. Before, I would just greet them at the door, have them walk in, walk in. Now, I don't do that. Now, once, and once I know I got a good group outside, then I stand outside. We need two lines. If you buy Miss Neville's door, start the second line. No, two lines. That's what we need. Our voices are all classes about to start. Are we ready to go in? Because this is your time right now. This is your testing time. So, voices off. Level zero. Level zero, please. Because I got all day. I got all day, boo. So, if you want to keep talking, this is where we're going to stand. I'll wait. No, 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 no. Shh, shh, dude, shut up. <laughs> and then I'll let a few in, you know, shake their hand, whatever. Oh, I like your earrings. Oh, you got a haircut. Oh, you so I acknowledge something with every child. I'm acknowledging something. So when I got to that boy, I was like, ah. You're not my same person. You wait right over there. So you kind of get that. You, te you look at their attitudes and stuff before they enter your room. I don't want that energy into my room, okay? So I was like, what's going on with you? So after everybody, and I was like, excuse me, excuse me. I was like, what's going on with you, dear? Huh? No, no, no. I know you're not the same person. What's, 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 you in trouble again? Are we in trouble again? Because he gets in trouble quite a bit. He was like, nah, nah, miss, it's, it's not that. Then what is it, son? What what is it this time? Nah, this girl. This girl I was talking to. Uh, 
you know, I don't know what happened. She flipped the script, miss, and now she's talking to someone else. I was like, oh, really? So then you're no longer wasting your time. You can now move on to the next little honey and don't waste your time with her. So keep it moving. That's all she did you a favor, boo. So now you can move on to the next person. That's okay. Obviously. So you just gotta keep it moving, keep it popping. That's all you're doing. She did you a big favor. So you're not investing any more time in this honey, right? Look at it that way. You good, you cute, you all right? You'll have somebody else soon, so keep it moving. What, next? Anything else bother you? All right, go and have a seat. Make sure you do your annotation. Child, he was smiling in that class. Maybe I gave him a different perspective about it, but that's part of building a relationship, capturing the kids' hearts, and checking their temperature before they come into the room because you don't want that energy in the room. But Hansi, talk about energy. So testing went well. But the thing that bothers <laughs> bothers me, if I tell you, and I probably already mentioned this, but it's, it's getting on my nerves. If I tell you the expectation is for you to annotate every passage, every story, every poem, TP cast, this, every letter stands for something which is like annotate the poem if i tell you that if i tell you if you do not annotate you lose 10 points off the bat if you do quality annotations you earn five points so what you think if you know that these reading comprehension tests is not your strong your your forte you're going to take the time and annotate the passage and Annotations help you understand what you're reading a little better, so therefore it's going to help you with your questions. It doesn't make sense for you to read the passage one time, answer the questions, and then talk about you're going to go annotate. It is It defeats the purpose at this point. It defeats the whole purpose because you already answered the questions and half of them probably are not right because you didn't take the time to really analyze and dig deeper into your passages and I just gotta shake my head uh, anyway that irritated me I'm like so you choosing not to do annotation you're that's insubordination you're being non-compliant because it is the expectation for everything we read Bobby and Sydney at their school everything has to be annotated they don't argue with the teacher do I have to do this why do I have to do this I don't like it no because that's the expectation so what happens minus 10 points you'll get it one of these days i'm not letting up on that i might let up on other things it won't be that because no that's the expectation for miss basil's class you have to annotate when it comes to the state standardized test you better annotate because it's going to help you with your test and then another teacher she was like well i have one student he's really really smart and she says where are your annotation he's like but it's in my head i do it in my head and she was like but then he gets most of it right that's not the point. The point is you set annotations. It's just like a math teacher saying, you have to show your work to show me how you got to your answer. English annotations is the same thing for English. You have to show your work that you proved to me that you read the passage, you understood each paragraph, you gave the main idea for each paragraph, and you summed it up in a few, in a few words. It's showing your work. So show your work with math, show your work with English. That's the expectation. And when there was something that went down with Bobby and she was upset because her teacher took off points because something about showing her work or something and she didn't do it the way the teacher. No, the teacher wanted you to do it a certain way. That was her expectation. I couldn't even argue. I couldn't even argue. No, Bobby, that's what the teacher said. So you just want to do you. Anyway, that was that. That irritated my nerves. So. Here I go to my next period class, right? Let me just sit. Oh, that's good. Here I go to my next period class. <laughs> Kids are lining up. <clears throat> lined up in the hallway. <laughs> and I'm, you know, getting myself together. I'm like, yeah, I got two more classes to go. Two more classes to go. I'm thinking I have to come home and fry those good pork chops, right? I'm like, gosh, I don't feel like cooking. You know, I'm kind of full from the good lunch I was served anyway. But I was like, dang, I don't want to stay here late because I need to go fry those pork chops, okay? So then 
Here I go. Line up against the wall. Our voice is off. We're at level zero. Okay? We're at level zero. Everybody? Everybody. All right? All right? I'll wait. Why did you? Why did you change my grade? Why did you lower my grade? You gave me a bad grade. Bad grade. Excuse me? <laughs> Yelling, screaming to the top of their little poor lungs. And I'm like, what in the world? What in the world? First of all, you don't talk to me like that. Second of all, that's disrespectful and I don't give grades. You get the grade that you earn. And you're being disrespectful. You don't have no right to talk to me like that. Ex miss. Uh, take him. He will not be coming in this class today. You better take him. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? My class that was still lined up into hallways, honey, didn't say one word. I wish they would have. I wish they would have laughed. I wish, what? I don't think so. You don't talk to me. You don't disrespect me like that. I don't think so. I don't care who you are. I don't come to this school every day, bust my tail every day, work late hours every day, come in, come in early hours to be disrespected like that. I don't care who you are. You need to learn how to communicate appropriately, okay? If you got problems, you have an issue with a grade, let's process and we talk about it rationally. Anyway, that's how my day went. Child, I was like, what? And I had to turn into a mother. I don't know everything I said. Of course, I would never curse a child. Out. I never lose my mind like that. Never. But I was like, excuse me? You don't disrespect me like that. I don't know who you think you are. And I don't give grades. I put the grades in that you earn. So that's how that went, honey. So before this class was over, so everybody got everybody going with the test and handing out the test the scantrons and boo boo boo. Everybody's doing them and doing what they're supposed to do. I'm as proud of the classes. I'm gonna have to give all the classes some points. We do this point system at the school and it's like a little credit card. And then if they have a certain amount of points, they can use it to buy items from the point store. So, but no, all the kids were good for the past two days. Very, very good. Oh, here comes somebody bringing me a note, an apology letter. Uh, Miss Basil, I apologize, but I was livid, L-I-V-I-D, livid, you know, livid. <laughs> I was livid and then explain what the word livid means. All right, I, th I think I know what livid means, son, okay? And then, um, yes, my voice was uh, 60 to 70 decibels. And then explain what decibels were. I, 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 I know what those are, son. So, <laughs> um, I think they said some, oh, and then drew me a little, um, picture of New York. And, um, and it was, and one thing about me, I do not hold grudges against kids. So, a couple of periods later, I then wrote a note back to the student and said, you know, I accept your, I should have took a picture of it. I accept your apology, but we need to learn how to communicate a little more effectively. I said, I do not give grades. I put the grades in that you earn. And I've seen some other behaviors where they choose to do the work or, or not, whatever, that's okay. And um, I said, you know, it hurt my feelings the way you behaved. And I think we need to move forward with, you know, learning how to communicate because I am here. My co-teacher is here. We're always here to help you with things if you don't understand them. I'm always here. So, and I wrote a page and a half. And at first I started out in cursive. And then I had to start over because not a lot of kids this day and age, sadly, do not know how to read or write cursive. You have a few, but not many at all. So at the end of the day, the student is walking down the hall. Hey, Miss Basil. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming for tutorials. My 
tutorials is on Thursday evening, not Wednesday evening. You can go to such and such as tutorials if you like. She's available. <laughs> I guess I was still in my feelings again, but I, you know, I shook it off. <laughs> I shook it off. I was like, okay, so you can go there, okay? All right. I said, you get my letter? He was like, yeah, and was smiling really, really big. But I think him writing the letter then me writing him a letter back and i know he loved getting the letter and us talking about it you know via writing i think he really liked that because he did have a big smile on his face and who wants to go the whole year um you know feeling upset or having a grudge so let's see what happens the next time anyway this has turned very long <laughs> this is gonna be a long one y'all if you still here sis this is gonna be a long one but yeah I've had a full day. I am thoroughly, thoroughly exhausted. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, I want to say thank you or thank you, thank you, thank you to the ones who consistently watch and support me no matter what kind of content I put out. I mean, the good stuff, the bad stuff the crying stuff the happy stuff you know so you have definitely proven to me that you know you are my ride or dies and i appreciate you know because consistently it's like 500 that are consistently watched now if there's some drama or something negative of course those views go up and but regardless i made a commitment for vlogmas even if i only have two people that's what i'm going to do now does vlogmas end on the 25th or it's supposed to go until the 30th i'm going to get out of here i didn't try i could probably stay on here for about another 40 minutes because there are other little stories i could tell you <laughs> all right guys give this video a thumbs up like comment share subscribe until next time later